In 2009, a young Korean artist who was attending an all-night prayer meeting, was visited by Jesus Christ. She was taken to see hell and told by Jesus to draw what she saw, so that the world would know. The girl narrated, As I was praying all night long, I was able to love Jesus more than ever. One day, Jesus came and said in my heart, I will show you the deeper things of heaven. I thought I was going to visit heaven, but instead, we visited hell. As I followed Jesus, I cried the whole time. I then began to hear moans, screams, and wailing sounds. Jesus said, focus me. You must focus only me. Most people have a misconception about hell. They are deluded and think that if they only believe in Jesus Christ, they will end up in heaven. Some even think that once they die, there is nothing afterwards. People believe as they think, and therefore they live their lives as they please. Jesus also showed me that as people watch violent secular movies, Demons would actually torment the person's soul without the person realizing it. As a person watches the scenes from TV, their soul is tormented and wounded. Watching secular TV does not help Christians develop a loving relationship with our bridegroom Jesus. As Jesus witnessed the sins committed by man, he cried, Satan and his demons would tie the bodies of sinners so tight with iron chains to control them. Therefore sinners would go deeper and deeper in sin. I am pleading with you not to commit sin. Do not live as you desire. In hell, the senses are hundreds of times more vivid than what we feel on earth. The pain is more severe. Jesus showed me how people fall into hell. Jesus said, I see countless people falling into the eternal deep sea of the fire of hell every single day. Please tell the people what you have witnessed in hell. You must tell them about hell. Tell people how awful and gruesome hell is. You must paint the scene of hell as if you are within my heart. Draw the scenes with my aching heart. They are falling into the fire of hell. Draw it with my aching heart. He felt such pity for people who were falling into hell every single day. As I was painting the scenes of hell, Satan attacked me severely. But I wanted to show the world about hell and the heart of Jesus through these paintings. I saw that when people were smoking and drinking, that spirits of snakes filled the alcoholic drinks and the cigarette smoke. I saw people being tormented on a cross. I saw people who did not want to eat the bread of life or God's word. There were people who would not discuss the things of their lives with Jesus, but made their own decisions, and followed their own will. There were people who drank and ate prohibited things. Jesus said, Please tell people who hurt each other's hearts by their words that they must not hurt or wound their brothers, sisters in Christ. They must not say things without care or love. This is how murderers, rapists and child kidnappers will be tormented. This woman tries desperately to escape. The punishment for liars. Those people who stole money will be penetrated by arrows and needles. In hell, I saw a woman and her son who had died. In hell they no longer loved each other. Because of the unbearable pain, they would do anything to escape the torment, even by stepping on each other. Insects in Hell These insects are for people who committed sins by their thoughts. They were filled with their own thoughts and knowledge. Covered by countless maggots, their entire body is wounded by large insects, going in and out of the whole body, mouth, ears and head. 
They were also people who violated God's word and ignored God's commandments. They will be placed in an area similar to a frying pan, which was burning with hellfire. Those people who do not attempt to align their thoughts with God's will end up in hell. We must fix our minds and thoughts on God. This torment was for those Christians who did not share the gospel. They did not evangelize the good news to the lost. They ignored their calling. This torment was for the people who had ignored God's word and still continued to commit sin. They are the ones who performed evil in the eyes of the Lord. For those who worshipped idols, those that had evil thoughts and were stubborn in their ways. Grumblers and complainers also wound up in hell. Grumblers and complainers in their heart. There is a place in hell for men who cheated on their spouses. For those who became gay or bisexual. They were penetrated by knives and spears. For those who became sexually corrupt. Their private parts were being pierced by demons. A raging fire all around. With no place to escape. Hell is endless. The torments are endless. For those who would not repent. You must kill any devil that is living inside of you. When people repent, they cross over from death to life, and Jesus is waiting for them on the other side. They drop their heavy load of sin, and start on the narrow path to life, and off the road to hell. When we repent and pray before God, angel armies come down and pierce the demons with their swords. Jesus said, Focus me. You must focus only me. Jesus forgives our sins when we repent. Repent of your sins and believe in Jesus. If you do, heaven is waiting for you, instead of hell. A place where you could be joyful and have a happy life forever. Don't go to hell. If you don't want to go to hell, repent of your sins. Humble yourself before the Lord and pray this simple prayer of repentance and acceptance. Heavenly Father, I humbly come into your holy throne in Jesus' name and through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for loving me. I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Holy Spirit guide and teach me in all my ways. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen.